Hey guys, a very good afternoon and welcome to our YouTube channel Asia's IS Institute where we bring to you 10 daily MCQs on current affairs for civil service examination daily at 3 p.m. to our live sessions from Monday to Friday. So here we are with 10 MCQs for today's live session. So let's discuss it. Beginning with the first question. Global Competitive Report is produced by which of the following organizations? Options are A. World Bank B. World Trade Organization C. United Nations Organization or D. World Economic Forum Global Competitive Report in which it is made by World Bank, WTO, UN or World Economic Forum and the correct answer is option D, World Economic Forum. So the Global Competitive Report is produced by the WEF, that is World Economic Forum. Next is, which of the following is or are correct about the total expense ratio? Firstly, it is the ratio of total fund cost to total fund asset. And secondly, lowering the TER may make it less expensive for investors to invest in mutual funds. So you have to select the correct answer using the codes given below and the options are A1 only, B2 only, C both 1 and 2 and D neither 1 nor 2. Okay, you are asked about total expense ratio that which of these statements are correct and for this the answer is option C both 1 and 2. So both these statements are correct in regards to total expense ratio that it is the ratio of total fund cost to total fund asset. Yes, this is correct. And secondly, if one lowers TER, it is less expensive for the investors to invest in mutual funds. And so both these statements are correct. Next question is, ISRO's first space technology incubation center has been set up in which of the following states? Options are A. Maharashtra, B. Meghale, C. Kerala, or D. Tripura. Isro ka pehla space technology incubation center in mein se kaun se rajya mein set up kiya jana hai, ye kiya gaya hai. Maharashtra, Meghale, Kerala, ya phir Tripura. Okay, time's up and the correct answer is option D. Tripura. So, ISRO's World Space Technology Incubation Center has been set up in the state of Tripura. Next is, which of the following best describes the Unnati program launched by the Indian Space Research Organization? Options are A. Capacity Building Program on Nano Satellite Development B. Program to involve IITs in space research C. Program to orient school students towards space research or D. None of the above. Unnati program. Okay, and the correct answer is option A. So, Unnati program launched by the Indian Space Research Organization is best described as capacity building program on nano satellite development. Next is, which of the following have been developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program? Options are A. Prithvi, B. Agni, C. Trishul, or D. All of the above. In this, kya Integrated Guided Missile Development Program ke under develop ki gayi hai? Prithvi, Agni, Trishunya, Timo. So the correct answer is option B, all of the above. So Prithvi, Agni, Trishul, all these three are developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. Next is, Rai Ganj Wildlife Sanctuary is located in the state of, options are A, West Bengal, B, Karnataka, C, Odisha, or D, Assam. 
रायगंज वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इनमें से कौन से राज्य में स्थित है वेस्ट बेंगाल कर्नाटका उड़ीसा या फिर असम टाइम्स अप एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए वेस्ट बेंगाल सो रायगंज वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी इज लोकेटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ वेस्ट बेंगाल नेक्स्ट इज Pulik Bird Sanctuary is located in the state of options are A Tamil Nadu B Kerala C Odisha or D West Bengal Pulik Bird Sanctuary in me se kaun se rajya mein sthit hai A Tamil Nadu B Kerala C Odisha ya fir D West Bengal Okay, time's up. So the correct answer is option D, West Bengal. So Pulik Bird Sanctuary is located in the state of West Bengal. <coughs> Next is the Belam Caves are India's second largest natural caves located in which of the following states? Options are A, Andhra Pradesh, B, Telangana, C, Tamil Nadu, or D, Meghalaya. बेलम केव्स भारत के सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट नेचुरल केव है तो इनमें से किस राज्य में स्थित है आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना तमिलनाडु या फिर मेघालय ओके एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए आंध्र प्रदेश बेलम केव्स आर इंडिया सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट नेचुरल केव्स लोकेटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश नेक्स्ट इज Kartarpur Sahib Gurudwara which has been in news recently is located in which of the following states options are A Punjab B Maharashtra C Pakistan or D Bangladesh Kartarpur Sahib Gurudwara jo haal hi mein kafi news mein reh chuka hai inme se kaun si jagah pe sthit hai Punjab Maharashtra Pakistan ya Bangladesh टाइम्स अप एंड द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस इज ऑप्शन सी पाकिस्तान सो करतारपुर साहिब गुरुद्वारा व्हिच हैज बीन इन न्यूज रिसेंटली इज लोकेटेड इन पाकिस्तान मूविंग ऑन टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टुडे सेशन द मराठा फोर्सेस इन द बैटल ऑफ कोरेगांव वर लेड बाय व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मराठा लीडर्स ऑप्शंस आर ए बालाजी विश्वनाथ राव बी बाजीराव वन सी नाना साहेब और डी बाजीराव टू बैटल ऑफ कोरेगांव में मराठा फोर्सेस को कौन लीड कर रहा था बालाजी विश्वनाथ राव बाजीराव वन नाना साहेब या बाजीराव टू एंड इट इज ऑप्शन डी बाजीराव टू सो दी मराठा फोर्सेस इन द बैटल ऑफ कोरेगांव वो लेड बाय द पेशवा बाजीराव टू So with this we come to an end of today's session. For more information regarding courses, syllabus, cutoff of civil service examination, you can visit our website www.aasha.com. And for more informative videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, Aasha's IS Institute. You can also like, follow, and share our pages on Facebook and Instagram. Hope you like this session, and we'll be right back tomorrow at the same time with yet another 10 MCQs on current affairs for civil service examination. Thank you so much.